Okay, so I didn't vlog today. Oopsie daisy, what on earth am I doing? But I thought I'd take the time to quickly uh, talk about the whole YouTuber boxing stuff that happened today. Excuse the headband, uh, I didn't wear it because of the boxing, I wore it because I got it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it may look stupid, but shush. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, basically all that's happened tonight was the, the YouTube boxing sensation stuff. And um, I watched three of the fights. I watched the, the final three. And um, yeah, I, I want to give my, my brief, my very, very brief, brief opinion on what went down. So, so essentially, what happened? First of all, there was the Aniso Gibb versus uh, someone from TGF. I can't remember his name, Jay Swingler or whatever. And that was a good fight. Uh, uh, good to see uh, Aniso Gibb win. Uh, I always thought he was going to win. N never mind, no one cares about that. No one cares about that. What I care about are the two main fights. So, Deji versus Jake Paul. Don't want to talk too much about any of these because I'm not that interested. This is literally just a really short video uh, because I forgot to vlog uh, during the day. Well, I don't forget. I chose not to. Let's make that very clear. But basically, yeah. So, Jake versus Deji. Um, all right. So, Jake won and um, he deserved to win. He was definitely a better fighter. He was definitely who I predicted to win. I would have liked Deji to win, but you can't get everything you like. Um, and apparently, He's called out Chris Brown, right? First of all, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Why would you call out Chris Brown? That, that's stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't get it. Let's just, let's just ignore that. I don't get it. Uh, Deji, I think, wants a rematch. Uh, I'm not sure how. Uh, he wants to fight. I don't know if he wants like the rematch that strongly because he did get beaten quite badly. His team ended up throwing in a towel. He did last very long. That's one thing I can say is that Deji did fight extremely, extremely well, and I'm kind of, I wouldn't say I'm proud of him because I didn't really care about this but he did fight well and it was interesting to see uh how uh people reacted to the weigh-in yesterday and how uh, everyone was like oh well Deji just looks fat it's nothing to do with physique it's all about your power and where uh the muscle is it doesn't matter how much of that is on show and Deji did actually fight really well and he was landing some good punches against Jake but unfortunately Jake was just stronger had bigger reach was taller and it was it was interesting um let's so that's that's that uh Chris Brown what, what are you going to do? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, and then the main event, KSI versus Logan Paul. Now, I've always wanted KSI to win um, because no offence to the Pauls, I just don't like them. I don't enjoy their content. I feel like some of the stuff that they've done is a bit uh, suspect. Of course, that, that can be said for uh, JJ and Deji too, but in my opinion, uh, I prefer the British guys. Uh, and it probably helps that I'm British, uh, if you didn't know. Uh, yeah. Hmm. That fight was very surprisingly good for YouTubers. Like uh, the the KSI fight versus um, uh, Joe Weller was surprisingly good for YouTubers, but this was another level. Seriously, really, really good uh, stuff to watch. And I was like, oh, I'm actually invested in this. This is quite pleasant. Uh, anyway, it, there were six rounds of three minutes. It's good to see three minute rounds because I think last time it was two. Um, so uh, the first two rounds, uh, Logan Paul was insane. You can see how his reach and his height just completely he destroyed JJ. JJ was looking down and out. And then over the, the next the, the next four rounds, JJ started to claw it back. The final two, JJ destroyed Logan. Logan looked shattered. And that's, that's just down to the fact that JJ has been doing this way longer. He has the stamina to keep going. Whereas Logan had that initial burst of power and he has the physical um, advantage over JJ, but he just couldn't hold it up. And the thing is, in, in the first in the first few rounds, JJ was still getting some punches in, whereas in the final ones, Logan was barely getting anything. And um, as a result, the result, um, I'm a bit confused here. I definitely think this is rigged, uh, but um, that's just me. So uh, the three judges, one thought that JJ won by one point, and the other two think it was a draw, which means it's a ma majority draw, which means that JJ keeps his title. Um, but... Uh, it's, it's a draw. So, they want to... Is that, is that a shreddy? I thought there was a shreddy in the printer, right? <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, yeah, so it ends, as a, it ends as a draw. And the thing is, I've been seeing the rounds on the internet recently that there's already been a rematch organised. And so part of me thinks this is shenanigans um, just to make sure that a rematch is supported by people. And, yeah, I, I, I think that JJ deserved... The win. He didn't start oh, well, but he did get. I I feel like he he performed at this not the same standard, but at a, a higher average standard across the entire fight compared to Logan. 
Uh, but that's that's not important now. What's important now is that they're doing a rematch, and um, yeah, it just seems like it's going to be a big Gr- money, not money grab. Well, probably money grab because I think JJ gets all the money from this fight in the UK, and then Logan will get all the money from the America fight. So um, I guess it's all part of a tactic. Everyone seems really really nice to each other though. Like at the end of the fights, uh, Jake and Deji had words that were like good to each other. They were being friendly. Um, Logan said some really good stuff about JJ, how JJ's like helped restart his image and stuff. Um, and it just, to me, seemed too friendly. From what, everything else that they've said, all the other things that they've done against each other, it seemed too friendly. So it makes me feel like there is a bit more business-minded stuff going on here. Uh, and that maybe some of the beef is exaggerated. Um, but I don't know. I, what, who am I? I'm not, I'm not them. I'm not any, anywhere near their teams. I can't say anything like that. But uh, I, it's just my opinion. And... Um, I mean, it'll be interesting to see a rematch, but at the same time, I feel like, uh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit shenanigans. Um, they just seem too friendly. They seem too, too uh, drawn away from the fact that they've been beating us up and shouting at each other for months. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, uh, like this, all I just wanted to ramble. I wanted to upload something for this vlog because this is technically a daily video channel, so I needed to do something. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe, that we can see every single day of my life, all the cool things that I do. And um, if you watch tomorrow's video, um, I go and watch Southampton against Leicester. Yeah, not very good. But I'll see you guys then. Till then, stay safe. Have a good one. Peace.